HookahPro.com, your ultimate source for everything hookah. Find the latest tips and tricks, videos, reviews, contests, and more. Hello, welcome to another video. Uh, this time my video is going to be not on uh, shisha review, but on cleaning the shisha. Uh, one of the reasons that I got a shisha for myself at home was because I was never sure when you go to the calves how often they clean it, if they ever clean it at all. So at least this way I can be sure that the one that I have at home will be cleaned regularly. Now usually what I do is just uh, soap, water and a brush. But I heard about this um, technique online and I wanted to try it. Uh, but we'll come to that stage later. First of all we're going to concentrate on cleaning the outside of the hooker. Now for those of you who know me, you know that I own this... Uh, Al Nefes Sultan, and uh, I'm going to clean this up with uh, some brussels. Now, the reason why I want to do this is because, uh, as you can see, it's starting to get some darker markings around here on the etchings, and also little spots like this. If you can pick that up on the camera, where it's gone a bit green here, uh, there's some underneath around here, green. There's a little bit of green in here as well. And on the top, on the tray, where I rest the coals, you can see there is a build up of some grey type residue in the leaves here. So, I'm going to give this a nice polish up on the outside. And then later on, we're going to take this into the bathroom and clean up the inside. But for now, the outside, uh, I'm going to polish up. Brussels is what I'm going to be using. Got uh, one cloth to apply, one cloth to take it off, and uh, some cheap disposable toothbrushes for the more finer detailing. So we're going to cut out now, and after I polish it up, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so welcome back. Um, as you can see now, um, I've polished it all up, so it's a uh, nice, uh, bright, shiny, got a bit more, uh, all that black stuff has uh, been removed, and all of the green residue that was on here before has all gone, as well as any of the uh, grey build-up that was in the uh, tray from the coals and so forth that I used to leave on the top. So, yeah, that's what that looks like, so it's all nice and shiny now. Um, a word of advice, when you're using that Brussels, I would recommend that you do it outside or at least in a well ventilated area because that stuff really does stink, it's really strong. It's not a bad smell but it is really strong. Uh, also wear uh, some kind of uh, latex gloves, some kind of disposable gloves as well and uh, some overalls or jeans that you don't really care much about because uh, it will get all over the place. Okay, so now that we have the outside clean it's time to work on the inside so that's why we've moved to the bathroom where we are at the moment now I remember reading online uh, about a volcano cleaning process that um, I saw and uh, I happened to be in my local Tesco's which just happens to be one of their superstores and there was a world food section and in there I found baking soda which is what we are going to use for the inside cleaning so basically what we're going to do here these are the brushes that I generally use with a bit of salt to clear the inside of the base and the uh, stem but for this experiment we're gonna and this is the first time I've done this so we'll be doing this together now, I read on the uh, forum that you need to use a quarter cup of this. Now, we don't work in American measurements. So, I'm just going to put maybe about four teaspoons. Dessert, dessert spoons? Four dessert spoons of this into the vase which I have placed into the bucket. Three, 
four, and a bit more for good measure. Why not? Right. So in my measuring jugs here, again I read on the uh, forum said one cup, which I believe is uh, 250 milliliters. Now he said to use vinegar, but I understand vinegar has a uh, strong predominant smell, so I'm going to put a mixture of hot vinegar. Oof. and part lemon juice. Okay, so that's that mixed. Together, we're gonna place this back on top, like so. Uh, these are my, uh, I forgot what you call these, these plastic bits uh, that you put on there. I'm gonna just chuck these on the bottom there. And put these two bits down. Add this. Now the theory is the uh, acidity of this plus the uh, baking soda should foam up and clear all the inside of any uh, leftover smells. So let's see how this works. The one thing that I was concerned about was how, if any of this spills over onto the uh, paint of the vase, the vase, if that would make any effect, but I guess we're soon going to find out. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to leave that to sit in there for a little while. Uh, maybe I might repeat the process one more time and then rinse it, uh, make sure there's no smell in there whatsoever, go over it with the brushes just one more time and then we should have a nice clean hooker smelling fresh, brand new, ready to be smoked out of. Thanks for watching.